Okay, so we've just finished installing all of the um, programs from Open Education Disk. So this is the Windows side of our educational laptop. The Ubuntu or open source Linux side is going to be done like this. First we have an Edubuntu 10.10 .10 USB and what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into a USB. We're going to restart the computer and then for this computer here we need to access the BIOS so that it will boot from the USB instead of the hard disk. So you hit F9 and then you say notebook upgrade bay, no, you want to hit USB hard drive. So down down, USB hard drive, hit enter. What you're going to see is head English and this is Edubuntu. You can try Edubuntu without installing, but we want to install Edubuntu on the hard disk. So we're going to hit enter. Edubuntu is going to run. <laughs> Okay, so a wireless network is available, but we don't want to install the updates right now because of bandwidth. So yeah. we're going to hit forward. This first is English. So it's going to ask you, do you want to download updates with while installing? If you do have a fast computer, please do click download the updates while installing. You do want to install third-party software, but because we don't have a very good internet connection, we don't have the bandwidth available, we're going to skip these steps. I like the Unity Netbook interface a lot. It provides something that's very easy for people to navigate. There's going to be a dock along the side, and it's great for kids to figure out how to use it. Very Mac-like in comparative terms. So we're going to install that. I'm going to keep going. So we want to install it alongside other operating systems. We're going to click forward. We're going to give, move the slider. If you want less for Windows, more for Edubuntu. More for Windows, less for Edubuntu. But we're going to be pretty generous with Edubuntu and we're going to give it 80.1 gigabytes. So we're going to click install now. Continue. Where are we? We're we're in Kingfisher, but this time zone is Sioux Lookout. Going to click forward. Our USA is our keyboard layout. Do not click Canadian French because you're going to have some issues. We're going to name this one Teacher. We're going to choose a password, which will be A B C D one two three A A B C D one two three, and that's actually we're going to change that later. We're going to encrypt the home folder, going to click forward, and we're done. Hmm. Press stop. So once we're done the installation, you're going to see a sign that says installation complete, and you want to restart the computer. You're going to hit restart now. Do not take out your USB until Edubuntu asks you, please remove the installation media. You're going to unplug your USB. You're going to press enter. The computer is going to restart, and now you should be able to see that there are options in order to choose between Ubuntu and Windows 7. It's very similar to the installation mode for Chemo. So the last bottom is Windows 7. The first one is Ubuntu with Linux. So we're going to hit Ubuntu with Linux. Now you see that uh, Ubuntu has the computer name and we're going to log in as teacher with our password. So that's really it. So this is what we call the Unity Netbook Interface. This is initially designed for netbooks. We've installed it so that it actually goes with uh, laptops as well. So you have Firefox, Empathy Messaging, Evolution Mail, Cheese Webcam Booth, if you have a webcam, Music Player, Ubuntu Software Center, Workspaces, so you can zoom out of different workspaces. Very neat. And you have files and folders. You can just easily search. The, uh, the specific file you want, 
instead of uh, having to necessarily click this, click another one, click another one. And now we go to applications. The entire application row is here. And what I really like about Unity is the ability to find similar or um, programs that you might want on the software manager. So for example, if I type, type Tux, we have what's installed, Tux Math, Tux Paint, Tux Type. Well, available through the Ubuntu Software Center is Extreme Tux Racer, G Shutdown, and some other things that you might be interested in. So if we do have an internet connection, which we're not enabling right now, what we can do is we click Extreme Tux Racer, and it'll install from the Ubuntu Software Center. That's it. Oh. What we're going to do right now in this step is to create another username. So we're going to go to, we're going to call the username student. We're going to go to application, and we're going to type users and groups. You see, again, another advantage of Unity is that you can easily find whatever you're looking for just by a quick search. So teacher, we're going to change it to administrator, type in our password again, so we can make whatever changes we would like. We're going to add a user called student. I'm going to type in the password. I'm going to click OK. Now for student, we're going to change the password. And then do not change ask for password. So the desktop user, student, not ask for login. That's the student. Teacher is administrator, so they can make changes. And the password is ask for login. Again, there's a difference. Close, and we're going to try it out. We're going to log out. I'm going to see student, and you should see this. And then there we go. There's that Ubuntu with Unity. Beautiful.